for me, there's a massive connection between music and, and my mental health. What's up, I'm Jerry, I'm 22, and I am a singer slash songwriter from South Africa. And yeah, firstly, just wanna say thank you so much to Tari for reaching out to me to be part of this. I just think that it's really cool what she's doing with this platform, and I'm stoked to be on here and answer some questions. Um, I would say my personal definition of mental well-being is trying to have as little negativity going on up there in your head as possible. Part of life is unfortunately negativity and there's always going to be negative thoughts kind of um, floating around but I think that that just makes you appreciate the positive ones so much more and um, I don't think that it's possible to be fully mentally healthy and to not ever have a negative thought. If you have been able to do that, then that's awesome, hats off to you. But I think in general, that's just kind of how life is. So I think mental well-being is just trying your best to see life through as, as much of a lens of gratitude as you can and just like recognizing your blessings and trying to see yourself in a positive light and trying to see everything around you in a positive light as well. I mean, mental well-being is obviously massively important. It's massively important to be mentally healthy. And I would say that mental health is just as important as physical health, in my opinion. And not only does it have an impact on, on you and your own health, I think it just, it has a big impact on those around you as well. And I think that can just be massively detrimental, whether it be to friendships or professional relationships. It's just important to be mentally in a good place. I do struggle quite a lot with anxiety, especially from social media and all of that stuff. So I'd say for me, being off social media really helps with my mental health. So that's one thing that I do to kind of keep my head in a good place is trying to stay off of social media as much as possible. Also, I've been reading a lot recently just because that helps a lot. I enjoy that. And music, music's a massive part of it. Yeah, whether it's making music or listening to music, it's just a really good way for me to clear my head and kind of just like get all the negativity out. I think just also fitness, like exercising plays a big role. And my faith, I'm a Christian and that gives me a lot of peace in situations where I kind of feel like I don't have much control over a situation or things that are going on. So for me, those are like the, the big things that I would say play a massive role in my mental well-being. I've kind of touched on that already, but I'd say it's, it plays a massive role. For me, there's, it's definitely a form of therapy. Um, there's this quote that I saw a while ago where it said, music is medicine. And I think that so many people can relate to that. And I know I definitely can relate to that because for me, there's a massive connection between music and, and my mental health, just because it's a way for me to kind of offload um, stuff that I'm feeling because I'm not extremely good at speaking about my feelings and my emotions. So I'd say being able to write songs about those things or yeah, just express it through music plays a big role. Not necessarily only making music, even just listening to music, I think is huge. And that has a big impact on me as well. There's this kind of image in society that men need to be really tough and that showing emotion is a, a sign of weakness. I think that's obviously been said a lot. I just think personally that a lot of guys just don't really have someone that they feel they can speak to about that. I feel like girls are just more prone to be open uh, in their relationships with their friends about speaking about their emotions, whereas guys kind of aren't. It's just not really something that's a common topic to speak about. So I think that that's a big reason why men are less likely to talk about their feelings. I think a lot of people just don't really have someone that that they are comfortable speaking to about their feelings and they don't really know how to speak about their feelings because of that because they've never really had that person whether it's a, a guy or a girl i think that's that's maybe why guys are less likely to speak about their feelings i would say yes and no i have some friends that i can speak about those things too and some friends that i don't so i'd say that it's kind of a yes and no answer. I think it's just, it depends on the person, but I think that it is massively important to find a person that you can speak to about those things and just kind of um, have it be something that's that goes both ways and for them to have that trust in you as well, because you don't just wanna be pouring into someone, but they don't have the opportunity to pour back into you, if that makes sense. So I think it's really important to try find something like that. Like I said, I can be quite an anxious person sometimes and also just a massive overthinker. And I kind of just want to always feel like I'm kind of in control of, of the situation. And I think a lot of times being in a mentally unhealthy place has
has kind of ruined really special moments for me. It's important to be in a place where you're actively working on bettering your mental health, being anxious or overthinking or whatever it may be, kind of festering over things that don't really matter, that you don't have control over. And then as a result of that, it kind of ruins something really special. I'm kind of working towards being a singer songwriter full time. Um, I'm currently at university. Tying into kind of this whole topic of mental health, I think my goal is to make music that makes people feel something and that can help people with their mental health. If it's a sad song, it, it makes someone realize that they aren't alone in what they're feeling. And if it's a happy song, it just brings someone or could have the ability to bring someone out of a dark place. And I would say that's definitely my biggest goal. Over all of the other things that can come from being successful in music, I think that's the most important factor. So yeah, I thank you so much for listening. Oh, that was a cool, that was a fish eagle, by the way.